All right, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. Um, today's story time. I'm about to tell y'all about my my thief era. Um, I'm telling y'all, this is gonna sound far fetched, but that's because a, a lot of y'all wouldn't have the the guts to do this, and y'all smart enough to not do this. Some people are genuinely disgusted by stealing. I'm gonna tell you, I was a thief, a full on thief. Um, I was stealing. I was stealing from everywhere. I was stealing from people, places, stores. I don't know. And it's because it was supported by an adult who had a big part of my life. So the fact that it was supported by an adult in my life, nigga, I thought it was perfectly fine. And it put me in a bad place because it was like, bro, it built bad habits. And as a child, when that's in your mind and you think you can get over it, you just get over it for real, for real. Um, if TikTok ban me, remember, if y'all want to hear the rest of the story at the TikTok ban me, you got to come to my Twitch. My Twitch is She Loves Rod. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this going on Vlogmas, a part of the Vlogmas, I need this to hit 10,000 likes. We, we, come on, we bigger, we better than that. I'm glad I wasn't the only one who used to steal a lot. I'm very confident in the, in the stages of my life that's not so good because I'm good now. So I'm I'm openly telling y'all like a lot of people would be embarrassed to say they stole nigga I was stealing and I was damn bad. We about to get right into it. All right, so the first time I stole, the first time I stole, I knew it wasn't right. My, the first time I stole was from a poppy store. I was with my mom and my mom. I know my I know my mom. Don't touch it. Put it back. I'm not buying your snacks. All this. Say no more. I was stealing that shit. Every time I would go to my mom with a poppy store. To a poppy store, I would take that shit, put it in my pocket, and since I'm a child and I'm only holding her in hand, they never used to catch me. They watching a grown ass man in a ski mask, thinking he about to steal and all that, and he probably was. You steal me? You feel me? But I was stealing as well, and I was with my mom all that. One time, my mom caught me. She bought my ass. She 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 whooped my ass. She whooped my ass. Uh, bad. Like she whooped my ass real bad. Don't steal. That's bad. All this blah blah. I never stole again. Right? It's a important part. Uh, importing person in my life. Um, that's an adult. I'm not gonna say who it was, but we're just gonna call, uh, we're just gonna call her, um, we're gonna call her my guardian, right? So I had a guardian. I used to go over her house. Um, I used to go over her house. I used to be with her all the time. And she was, uh, she was, she rivaled my mom and my dad. Like, she was one of them type guardians. Like, taking care of me type shit, right? And the first time I stole, I was in the mall. And it, she she made she didn't make me, but she was okay with me stealing for myself. So we was in a clothes store, and I'm like, I want that. And she like, you better walk out with it. Like I don't that shit that shit sixty dollars. And I'm like, huh? And she's like, you better walk out with it. And I'm like, bet. She helped me, nigga. She hold it in your hand. I held it in my hand. I walked out. They said nothing to me, bro. Oh my God, did, y'all didn't even know the art this created, nigga. Me walking out with it in your hand, bro. Oh my gosh. As a professional, I used to call myself a professional thief on my mother's life. I know how to steal. I know how to steal, bro. Oh my gosh. I don't know how much to plead it, and I don't want to keep saying it because, like, bro, we get it, but y'all don't understand. Y'all going to understand at the end of the story. I used to steal. I used to draw. Peep, though. She helped me or whatever, right? She helped me. Now, it's, 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 it's different type of thieves, right? You got your thieves who tuck shit in their pants and they clothes and they flex, question mark. It's not a flex. It don't matter. You feel me? I don't steal anymore and I got money now. <laughs> you feel me? A, f a flex is my success now. It don't matter. It's not a flex. It's a story time, bro. I'm, I'm pushing the importance. Let me let me tell my story. Y'all off my dick. Look. The niggas who put shit in their dick and their pants, stuff shit under their shirts, put shit in their bags and their pockets... Y'all are the worst thieves in the world. And y'all more prone to go to jail. That's just that's just how I feel. I never tuck nothing in my pants. Now now because you gotta you gotta remember. You gotta remember when you stealing, if you get caught, because anybody can get caught, what are you gonna say? What's your guard, right? You smoke cigarettes? Fuck no. What's your guard? When they catch you and it's in your dick, what do you say? Do you just give up? You say, oh, you got me. It's dumb. Right? Because as a security guard watching the camera, right? I'm watching the camera. I got to watch everybody. I can't put it past nobody, right? Are you going to watch the nigga who keep looking around and and, t and you see a nigga tucking? Or 
is you going is you going to watch the nigga who keeping it open in his hand. You're not going to watch the nigga who got it open in his hand, bro. You feel me? You're not. So our way of stealing was to do it in plain sight. It, we, we called it like perception stealing, right? So boom. What we basically would do is, and mind you, it's different type of stores. We used to rank these niggas. The hardest stores to steal from is department stores. You do not know who's watching you. Once they catch on to you, they will turn the fuck up on you. Know that they got a budget dedicated to niggas who steal, nigga. They got a budget for niggas like you. The big ass globe, you don't know, know if the globe on the ceiling is a, a camera if it's just a mirror, if it's five cameras, you don't know what that shit is. Department stores is the hardest stores because they got the hardest punishments. Even if you keep getting away with it, you got to realize, you got to realize when they catch you, bro, they take it to the high extent, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Our our, our closest scare was from a Kohl's. Nigga, we stole from Apple. We stole from every clothing store, nigga. We stole from Microsoft. We stole from Best Buy. Y'all know Kohl's was the nigga who's about to take me out? Nigga, Coles. Coles. You ever got caught? All the time, nigga. We just had repercussions for that, bro. And getting caught is a part of the game. Apple, I'm going to tell y'all about it. I'm about to tell y'all all my stealing shit. Nigga, I stole from teach, Bro, I got so used to stealing from st stores, I started stealing from my peoples. I'm like, yo, I'm drawing. So, look. Basically, bro, I'm, I'm going to get to Coles, bro. Coles. Yes. Coles, bro. Coles. Yes, Coles, bro. They was about to take us out, bro. Oh, my gosh. It was so scary, bro. Them niggas never got... Bro, I never felt that scared in my life. Mind you, when I first started stealing... When I first started stealing, bro, when you about to steal, like, before... We, we'll go to the mall, and we'll call it a, a, a mall run, right? A mall run. If you go to places like Abercrombie, Hollister, they give you these big-ass bags, even though you bought one thing... When you go, no, you got to have money on you. You got to have money on you. And in our cover, when we got caught, was the fact that I was so young, small, and my voice was so light. Oh, yeah, hey, where you going with that? Where you going with that? I'm taking it to my mom. I want this. Oh, um, little man, you can't. You got to buy that. You got to buy that. Now I come back. My mom right there. And she, why would you do that? Dickhead. At the end of the day, bro, she was in on it. <laughs> you feel me? Dicking them. I'm walking out with this. What you doing with that? She told you to steal? I'm trying to I'm trying to get the I, I want this for myself. I want this for my dicking them, bro. That's all I'm hitting them with. You can't do that. You can't do that. And then and then look, this the reverse card. Look, my guardian walk up. Yo, why you yelling at my fucking son? Well he was stealing. Well he's a fucking child. Dicking him! He's a fucking child. Stop coming at him. You wanna call the cops? Call him! You coming at a fucking child? He five! I was small as shit. I told you I was 4'11 in 8th grade, nigga. I was small as shit. She coming right at him. He's five years fucking old. Going right at my fault, my fault. Now he backing down, nigga. We was about to rob you. You right, nigga. No, we not going to call the cops. We not going to call the cops. Bro, we was dicking them. My fingers was real sticky. And y'all, when y'all mean, like, Rod, did you get caught? And I said all the time. I don't mean all the time. Like, nigga, I was just getting caught. It was rare. But I'm saying we did get caught before. I'm going to tell you the times we got caught. I'm just trying to tell y'all, like, how this shit really worked, bro, because it's so much. Nigga, we did this for, like, two, three years, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. And when I was telling my story times, my guardian or the person that I'm talking about, I'm not going to disclose who they are, they called me and they're like, yo, Rod, your story times be fake? I'm like, no. Nah. They're like, why you ain't tell them about the time we were stealing? And I'm like, I don't want to go to jail. And she and the person basically was basically was like, I looked it up. That shit was years ago. And they don't, they don't got no way to prove it. You can tell that shit. So I'm like, bet. I don't, you feel me? And they got to the point where my family, my family knew that the Guardian had me doing it. So they could try to keep me away from the Guardian. But I got attached to that feeling. And it's like, when I'm with them, when I'm with them, hold up. I'm, I'm switching my TikToks. I'm switching to my other TikTok. The other one just got banned. Y'all know I got two pages. Give me a second. I'm about to go to the other John. Boom. And for the nigga saying W, W, uh, the nigga saying W script.
Make sure you sub so y'all get no ads. And this is just YouTube. Lane up. Or come to the TikTok. <clears throat> y'all need a script when it's real life. Pete. So look. Boom. Um, We started off with clothes stores. As soon as you ride, you get a drill... Adrenaline demon. You was loving the thrill to steal. I really was. And it's it's and for y'all acting like, yo, was you nervous? I was nervous, bro. Like the first the first time you steal for the day, I I, I get this feeling like yo, I got shit. It's like, bro, I got shit. Like my, my stomach dropping. I'm scared. That's the feeling I get when I do it. And when you do it, you can't hesitate or you will get caught. If you look nervous, you gotta have a poker face, an excuse, a poker face and excuse, and um and, and, and you just got to be smarter. Like, nigga, we, we used to steal clothes out of foot. We used to steal sneakers out of Foot Locker, bro. I'm about to tell you how we used to do it, too. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell you. But, Pete, that, uh, when I got around the Guardian, and, and that, that was the first time they was on a tight time, like, go ahead, take it. After that, you you know, we started doing things like a Wawa run, right? We started doing, not Wawa run, a uh, um, mall run, right? So when we do a, a mall run, is on a type time like yo we made it a game it was like what store can't we steal from y'all we went to we went to apple right now apple everything's in the back so right how did you get stuff from apple every time a new product was coming out y'all gotta realize the table in the center is either displaying information on how to work that new product or it's that it's the table has the new product on it they had the iPod 10th generations. They had the new iPods, new, new iPads on that middle table. Yo, if you grab it without somebody seeing, you got to realize you can walk around, but they everywhere. So how do you do it? You grab an item that's on the, uh, uh, you grab an item that's on the, um, the outside. After you grab an item that's on the outside, nigga, you, you, nigga talking about iPods, nigga. That's around the time I was stealing. It was the 10th generation iPod. The Jones were color. Niggas was going crazy. Oh, you saying the iPods were laughing emojis. Nigga, we was stealing them when they was going for 600. Selling them for 500. We don't give a fuck about an iPod either. We were selling them for $500 each. We didn't give a fuck. You took, like, you feel me? You stealing from your friend. We stealing from the mount factorer. Eat a dick. So we still on iPods and iPads, nigga. When 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 AirPods f first came out, we still in those too. Pete, if you go in there, if you go in there, you grab something on the on the outside of the jaw, mind you. We was boosters at at this point too, cause we was selling shit. We didn't need shit, bro. We grab something on the outside. You grab something from the table. You walk straight out. When you walk out, it's three people who watch only the door to guide you to who. You're going to uh, talk to for what you need. If you hold it to your right side and you keep walking straight, you got to bang a left or a right. Nigga, literally do this. Nigga, look, Pete. Perception stealing, bro. Pete. Perception stealing. I got the iPad, iPod right here. The iPad right here. I'm walking. It's time to bang that left. I'm here. That's it? Nigga, if I'm here, boom. Time to bang that left. I'm here, bro. What? I'm just hitting all these, bro. I'm hitting all these. I'm walking to it to my right because all of them are on my right. And when it's time to bang that left, I just move it forward. I just move it forward. I swear to God. You just move it forward. They probably like, bro, just walking. I used to cook them by doing little shit like this. I used to do little shit like this. Give it a little two seconds, and I might hit him with one of these, too. Get him a little two seconds, and I hit him with this. Boom. Take it back out. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Give me a little two seconds, and you probably thinking, well, what are you doing? Dickhead, I'm walking both hands out. Bro, I'm... Bro, y'all think I'm bathing, bro. I was really drunk, but mind you, when you about to do something, bro, when you about to do something... Like, before you do something big, your stomach drop, bro. Your stomach drop. You feel like you about to shit. And I used to take that trip every time before I steal. So, I'm going to get into the actual story. So, my first time stealing was when I wanted that joint, right? I'm about to tell y'all these stores and everything we did for them. Like the, and, and, and I'm going to tell y'all the time we got caught to the point where I was like, yo, chill. 
it was that cold for real, for real. But boom, we still from Apple. Uh, we still from Best Buy. Stop trying to go live with me. We still from Best Buy. Uh, heart racing. My heart was racing, bro. Bro, if you came to our car, we'd have got locked up. It's just, it's just bags, biggest shit, items all in a trunk. It got so bad when I went to school. It's like, bro, I told y'all, it, it, it was a time that, like, I was drawn, like, stealing from, like, bro, stealing from people, bro. But, um, Pete, and mind you, the time we stole from Coles that got us caught, it was it was something small. It was some play shit. But we hitting these mall runs. We come back home, we divvy the shit up. Hitting the mall runs. Come back home, we divvy the shit up. Right? Boom. The hardest store the hardest store to steal from is the department stores. But besides that, we just working our way up. We just starting with clothes. We doing shit like Hollister, Abercrombie. You feel me? We never stole from don't them you know, the stores that's not having it is um Barbar Burberry, Gucci. You're not, st you're not stealing from them stores. Not at all. Them stores is niggas in black suits watching you. And there's only five customers allowed in at a time. We never tried them, Jones. But besides that, we started with clothes stores. We didn't ever start with Apple. So we go into the clothes stores, get a big bag. And do you get the big bag? Once you go into them other stores, I'm filling this bag up. I'm filling this bag up. Mm-hmm. I don't really, uh, I'm going to grab these socks. Let me get the socks. Thank you. Get a bag from them so it don't look like you just came in there for nothing. Niggas used to do little shit like walk past us, try to look into the bag. I'm looking at him like, yo, what you on? The the niggas we with, the niggas we with on a type time like, yo, what you looking at? What you looking at my bag for? You think I'm stealing? So if I'm not stealing, I could beat you the fuck up. You got to really take it there with him. So if I, if, 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 if I, uh, if it's nothing in my bag, I could beat you the fuck up. What you, because I'm black. Because I'm black, you think I'm stealing all this, blah, 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 all this? Go right at him. Go right at him. Bro, we going at niggas on the type time like, yes, bro, all this. Boom. Niggas won't do nothing. We start stepping it up. Apple. Once we realize we flipping shit from Apple, we like, what electronic stores can we go to? We start doing shit like Walmart. TVs. Two TVs in a cart. My little ass pushing it out. Why my little ass? Because at the end of the day, if somebody say something to me, I could say, Oh, uh, I'm taking these to the car. You didn't pay for these, little man. Blah, 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 all this. Some, most of the times I got out, I'm pushing straight through. If a grown-ass man pushing two TVs, where your receipt? And he, I don't got no receipt. Nigga, you're going to jail. You feel me? So I'm pushing straight through. Little. They probably think, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a nigga at the car waiting for me to, waiting for me to put it into the trunk, nigga. You tripping. It's a nigga waiting. Waiting. Bro. My, my, my cousin, uh, whoa, about to say a name. My cousin worked at a Walmart, right, as a security guard. We asked him, can we come? We're not going to steal from your store. Let us see what the camera room look like. Nigga, it's three niggas. It's three niggas in a booth. It's cameras on different sections. Different people are watching different sections, nigga. Niggas, half of the time they on a phone. Half of the time they on a phone. Some of the times what we would do is, look. You steal the two TVs, you go into another Walmart, you grab the same two TVs that you just stole from the other Walmart, um, you buy them, you go back to that, you go back to another Walmart, it gotta be three Walmarts, you take them back, you get the money for the two TVs and sell the other two TVs on the street, so you got the money for four TVs when you really ain't buying nothing. We doing that on the electronic stores, we doing that on Walmarts, um, what other stores? Nigga. As soon as it's time for football or basketball season, fucking Models used to be a store, if you know what that is. We still in the equipment. We telling niggas, yo, let us know what you need. We we was let us know what you need. We gonna get it for you. Blah blah blah. Niggas, oh yeah, he needs shoulder pads this size. Oh yeah, we need a basketball, we need this, boom, we need that, we need that, bet. We go into different different models. Boom, checking the list off. We come to them, they cash us out four or five hundred dollars. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's so cheaper this way. It's so cheaper, bro. We cooking them, nigga. We cooking them. What else? Rod, you stole from five and below. We call that Petty Jones. That's like a Wawa. You feel me? That's like that's a Wawa for real, for real. That's a Wawa run. You steal from Wawa with with ease. We steal from five and below with ease. Like if they catch us, it used to be a time I was with my I was uh we we it used to be me the guardian, two 
Two other people. One of them was hard body, nigga. He, nigga. The lady said, hey, you're stealing. He looked at her and said, bitch, it looked like I give a fuck. It was a five and below that stood by itself. No security. What the fuck was she going to do? What? We, we didn't take five and below seriously? Fuck five and below. What was they going to do? Call the cops? Is that after we hit the, the, the expressway and we home? Same thing with Wawa. Think about it. If you steal from Wawa, when the worker when the worker says, yo, you're stealing. Think about it. He's not the cops. You can say, I don't give a fuck, old head, and keep walking. The only way you going the only way you on some shit like, oh my fault. You just gonna give up? I don't I don't what? Okay. And and nigga. That just mean don't go back to the store. Fuck you, old head. Dick up. Your face on camera, that just mean don't go back. For real, for real. You can, you can say anything. You can say my fault, it won't happen again, and keep walking. You still taking the merchandise. You got to remember, only nigga stopping you is the cops. You just get paid to work here, bro. Mind your business. If there's no security, it's raps. Boom. We stealing from those, like those those petty stores, like Wow Wow Fine Below. Those stores we do it in our sleep. It's like, yo, let's see who can get the most shit. Um, bro, tip jars, bro. We was just stealing tip jars, nigga. Yo, excuse me. Hey, could I get the um? See what's soda in the back? Could I grab the uh the, the sprite? Turn around. We going with the tip jar, nigga. I'm talking about running, full speed with the tip jar. Um, what else? Nigga, we used to steal tip jars. Yes. Um, cat, nigga, on my mother's life. No crossies count. I will not put nothing on, on her life for, for swag. I'm being dead ass serious. Um, what else? Foot Locker. Right, how did you steal from Foot Locker? Hey, excuse me. Pick this, pick the shoe that you want. Hey, excuse me. Can I get this in a size 7? She get it to you a size 7. You try it on. You, I like these. Hold these behind the counter for me. I'm going to go to the other sneaker store. I'm going to go to the other sneaker store that's in this mall. Hold them behind the counter for me. The next set of thieves come in. Your sneakers are already on the back counter for you, so you don't have to go back behind uh, the store. Boom. You talk a lot, walk them to a, a, a live. you probably used to the silent lives where they look at you and say nothing. Um, But Pete, the, the sneaker is already out. It's on the back counter. It's only two or three workers. One has to stay up front. One is a cashier, one is going through the back, or two going to the back, but one has to be on the floor at all times. Think. You come in there, two other niggas, boom. Bro, could you go get me this sneaker? He's in the back, there's only two people on the floor. You ask the cashier something about these sneakers, uh, uh, another nigga is grabbing the sneakers, is grabbing the sneakers that's behind the counter. The sneaker is in my hand now. I will walk out. I could slip it into my big ass Hollister bag. It don't matter, bro. We was doing it like that every time, bro. Every time. If you really ain't want to carry the box, bro, leave it in the box. Sit the box down. How many times do you see a box? How long, how many times do you see a, a a Jordan box or something just sitting on like the bench? Because people try it on. The box sitting there. They don't know it's empty. The shit's on your feet. You walking out. All oh, this energy to steal? Yes. It was the job, bro. Mind you, I'm just telling y'all how that shit got started. Now, I'm going to tell y'all about the, the, the two times, so it's really in, in story time for him. Two biggest, two, well, not the two biggest Jones. The biggest Jones we did, and then the, the time uh the time we got caught. So, the biggest Jones we ever did was a Best Buy. I think I told y'all about this. The Best Buy. That's when the Xbox Connects came out. You feel me? Xbox Connect. Y'all got to think when a new system come out, it's kind of like when a, 2K, a new 2K come out. Niggas on the type time like, yo, I need it. I need it. No. Or a new iPhone. You feel me? It could be ass. It literally could be the same fucking device with some new features in it. You want it. Nick, everybody wanted it, nigga. It, they had a Christmas tree in the Best Buy. And around the Christmas tree, they had Xbox 360 with the Connect. Y'all. We thought, yeah, they banned the TikTok again. We thought the boxes was empty, y'all. Y'all. The boxes had actual shit in it. I'm like, what the fuck? The boxes had shit in it? They like, yo, see if you walk out, what's going to happen? I walked out, heart beating on my ass. I'm just holding it. Y'all, I walked right out. 
the my guardian said, "Yo, come back in, grab another one." Nail nest two, mind you. I told y'all we would. We it's four of us. Me, the guardian, two other people. I said, "Yo, y'all grab some too. We about to clean these niggas the fuck out." Then we got five. We come back in. I'm like, "Yo, let's not be greedy." They said one more, bro. As we get in the other joint, hey, bro, I'm gonna need you to step to the side, and when your partners come back in, we're gonna talk to them too. Mind you, we on our phones. He pulled his phone out. No, keep your phone down. Mind you, I'm in the store. The guardian is outside. The other person that's still outside. It's me and my man's in there. So, mind you, I see him. I call. I'm calling for him. I'm like, yo, don't come back in here. They got such and such. They, they wait. I think they're waiting for y'all. So, I walk up to him. I'm like, excuse me. How much is that right there? I'm asking him questions. He he basically, like, flagging me as if I'm a yumbo so that he can keep my mans to, on the tuck. Somebody, excuse me, I asked you a question. He's like, hey, you have to be in here with a guardian, blah, blah, blah. I said, that's what I'm telling you. Mind you, he ain't hear nothing I said. I'm like, that's what I'm telling you. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't have my guardian. I, I, I want my guardian. He, I need you to go right there. As he's trying to tell me where to go, my man's run out. As he's running out, I'm like, excuse me, my guardian. My guardian. He don't know what to do. I'm like, my guardian. Next thing you know, he trying to chase my mans. I run out with him. You feel me? My man's lost him. I'm like, yo, my guardian. I'm, 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 I'm like, yo, mind you. <laughs> my man's getting a car. Mind you, this the first time we had to do something that was, like, risky. He got in a car with the other two niggas. They pulled off. I really need my guardian now. So he come back in with me. I'm going to get your guardian. My mom's calling my phone. He got in a walkie-talkie. He, what you just say? He looking down at me. I'm on the phone. I'm like, yeah, I don't know where you at. He... He come in the back with me. Mind you, he trying to get me to come in the back. I think he know that I'm with them. I don't know what he know. I'm like, I'm about to hit this nigga with a fucking spin move. Mind you, we walk in, and I'm like, I just want my guardian. Mind you, I used to do this. Look. Take your hands, lick them. If you rub the protective layer on your eyes, it breaks. Air start hitting your eye. It start to burn. Force them open. My head down. I start crying. Boom. Fake crying. Nigga, I'm trying, bro. Fake crying. It's coming down. He, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm like, you trying to take me in the back, but my mom right there. Where's your mom? I'm like, she over there. I point at a random lady. We walk towards the random lady. I hit the nigga with the spin move. Oh, my gosh. Hit the nigga with the spin move! Your ass cap, nigga. You, if you do this, you, you break the protective layer. You keep your eyes down. You hold them open. You let them burn. Look at look at my eyes as they look at them, nigga. You keep blinking, nigga. You do it. You could you could do a little of this. I'm dead ass serious, nigga. Your eyes will start burning, and you gotta keep them open. Your shit is your shit's gonna start to but and it start to drop down, nigga. I'm dead ass serious, nigga. I got all the ticks and trip. Try it, nigga. I hit the spin move on his ass and ran so fast. I'm running. I call him like, where y'all at? I just ran. They, how you just run? We just came back in for you. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck is y'all doing? Bro, they went back in. They was ready to turn themselves in for me, bro. Not the one who got caught, but the guardian and the other one. I'm like, y'all need to hurry up and get the fuck out. I'm out. I'm in the car with my mans who got caught. The guardian get to the car. The mans get to the car. We pull off. Mind you. Amazon had the thing that covered your license plate. That shit was covered, nigga. We pulled off. That was the closest time we got to being caught. I'm going to call the ones, the one at Kohl's actually being caught, getting caught. Mind you, don't mix the breaking your seal, letting your eyes burn, and think about something uh sad. Oh, my gosh. You will be pouring down. <laughs> Nigga, think about something sad that's not true. Somebody you care about dying, something bad you really don't want to happen. Break the seal. You're going to pour down tears. Nigga, I know how to do that shit. Peep. 
we're doing all this stealing, we're making all this money, and we never really slowed down. My 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 real mom found out what was going on because I kept coming home and saying, "Oh yeah, such and such pay for it, such and such pay for it." And she got suspicious because it was on a type of time like she like next time bring receipts. And every time I didn't bring receipts, she thought she was lying, and she wouldn't let me go with her because she was on a type of time like you be having my son stealing. What's gonna happen when he get locked up? Y'all gonna get locked up? Blah blah. I didn't see her for a couple months. Every time I did see her, we'll do it for old time's sake, but we never really hopped back into it. Now, y'all know how we said Wawa and Five and Below was, like, easy-ass stores? Y'all, we thought Kohl's was easy because it's like, who the fuck shops at Kohl's? You feel me? Who shops at Kohl's for real, for real? Nobody shops at Kohl's, right? We go into Kohl's, and it's crazy because we didn't want to go into Kohl's to, to actually steal or anything. We only in Kohl's because... We just in Kohl's. I don't know. I don't even know what we doing in Kohl's. Kohl's easy. No, Kohl's got us. We in there and 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 you saying Kohl's easy? Like I don't, who even goes into Kohl's? But we in Kohl's and Dicks OD hard. Yeah, they been hard, bro. They harder than Apple. It's cool. That's why I said we stole from Models. You peep, I ain't say we stole from Dicks. Them niggas be going crazy. But peep, we go to Kohl's and I I guess we saw clothes that we like. And we basically was on the type of time, like, we're going to walk straight out. We playing. We basically taking them as a joke. How we take YY as a joke. How we search stores that we take as a joke. We walk around with the items loosely. We go around like we really shopping. And we just walk out and broody. We catch them lacking. All that. Yo, we walking around. <gasps> Niggas picking their clothes. <sighs> Niggas saying what they going to get. Ah, all this. Booms. Taking whatever they want. They holding in their hand. It's, t it's finally time to leave. Two niggas get out. I'm still shot. They call me. What you doing? You still in there? I'm like, I'm still shopping. My man's like, yo, yeah, we still shopping. Blah, blah, blah. We still shopping. Like, we shopping like we paying for that shit. All this shit in our hand. Stuff it in the bag, all that. Feel me? Some shit is still in my hand. We walking out like it's, like it's Wawa, nigga. We think it's sweet. Yo. It's a line. It's a, like, it's a bunch of lines. Like, it's lines everywhere. Niggas in line. Y'all got to remember, we're not the only ones in this store. They got other people to pay attention to. So, it's niggas in lines. And we trying to go past the, the niggas in line. And I peep, like, it's a nigga at the end of every cashier, at, at the end of every uh cashier, John. Like, and I basically, like, bagging, help bag or whatever. And we walking past them. And it's, like, in sync. The niggas that was help bagging, hey, bro, I'm going to need you to stop right there for me. I'm like, huh? I stopped. He got stopped by a different white nigga because he went through a different aisle. We we basically walking up. We about to walk through the cat the cash registers and go straight out the door. Nigga, they stop us. We need you to we need you to stay right there for us right right quick. Pulls the black piece out his uh out out his shirt, then connected it to his walkie. He twisting a jaw. Yeah, we got him right here. Boom, the other niggas, is niggas coming from behind the back, all this. Where y'all friends go? I need y'all calling back for us. Y'all got phones? Call them back. I'm like, huh? Bro, my heart racing. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I was looking for my mom. He, mm. no, 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 no. That's cool. Come on, come back here for me. Ah, uh, uh, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. My, 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 my man's ready to run. He don't run. Don't run. No, 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 no. Don't run. Don't run. Bro, oh my gosh. They be on it. He go to the back for me. I'm ready to run, and he see me making fucking football routes in my head, nigga. I'm ready to run this way and run out to the aisles and do all this weird shit, nigga. No, 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 bro. I'm ready. I'm ready to run, bro. My man's ready to run. My man's walking to the room. I throw all the stuff at the boy. Hold that. Try hitting with a move. I cut down the aisle. I'm running down the aisle, nigga, before I can even get past the registers, mind you. I'm doing this and all this. I didn't get far, y'all. I'm running the nigga. Oh, 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 where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Grab me all up. I'm like, yo, don't grip me up. Don't steal. Don't grip me up. Don't steal. Mind you, this all that cold. Coals. Coals. Go in the room. Push me in the room. Stay in the room. We sitting on this hard-ass bench. Should we alert, should we alert the authorities or... Or y'all gonna call y'all mans back? If y'all call your friend back, we get all the items. Y'all, y'all, uh, we'll let y'all go. Now, mind you, he, it's not guaranteed I'll let you go. It's depending on how I'm feeling. But the best bet for you would to be call the, call the two people back that y'all was busting it up with. And we're gonna let y'all go. So I'm like, huh? 
I'm not, I'm not, you feel me? I'm not, I'm not letting shit go. Mind you, the door got a lock on it. It got one of these locks and the door lock. <laughs> Top lock. The, uh, the, the hotel pen lock, John. They not letting us out. So I call. I call my guardian. And I'm speaking to Cole. He put it on speaker. I'm like, bro, this is my phone. This is my phone. He tell him come back. I'm like, uh, whenever we say, uh, on the phone, before we say something, somebody's listening. That's what that means. Uh, he said, come back, right? He say no more. Am I on speaker? Um, no. All right, cool. Where they got you? We in a room, right? So mind you, I'm trying to make an escape plan. Before y'all say, yo, Rod, like, you feel me? Did you do something like Yagami shit? I ain't do nothing like Yagami in this joint. They had that shit on lockdown, y'all. This is getting caught. This is cold, nigga. They, I, they on some weird shit. I don't know. I'm like, we in a room. Can y'all run? Uh, no. He put it on speaker. What are y'all talking about? I'm like, this is my phone, bro. You can call the cops. I don't know those two other people, mind you. I keep telling them. I don't know those other people. Um, but I'm on the type time, like, I, I, I'm going to see, like, I know them, but I'm not with them. Like, I know them, but I'm not with them. So when I call, that's why I'm on the type time. Like, he said, can y'all come back, all this? Because I'm like, I don't know those people. <laughs> so I'm like, um... I'm like, he, he like, should I come back, turn myself in? I'm like, I don't know, for real, for real. I'm basically saying bland responses, and, and and she talking in my ear. So she like, how many people is it? I'm like, four. And they're like, where is it at in the store? I'm like, in the back. Mind you. Yeah, these niggas undercover shoppers. Mind you. It's nighttime, there's nobody we could call. Y'all, we in there for 30 minutes. They set an hour timer. They like, when this timer go off, we not letting y'all go. Basically, I I said, um, I basically told him like, yeah. He said we got an hour, blah blah, blah all this. They texted me like, what should we do? Cause I still got my phone, and I'm I'm texting like, just give me time. I'm gonna find a way for us out. I'm thinking I'm gonna be like y'all give me. Yo, they guarding the door the whole time, watching cameras. They leave out the room, but they always make sure that there's two people in there at all times. Because he said, he said, hey, I'm about to go out there, uh, check something out. He, two people got to be here at one time. So you want to go first or I go first? So I'm like, huh? So, so they making sure there's two people in the room at all times. Like we was going to jump the ball and run. Mind you, they did lack though. The latch is down. So 30 minutes passed and I call and, and they like, what's going on? What's going on? We, 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 we going to get you out. We're going to get you out. And I'm like, I don't, uh, I don't really know uh, what's happening right now, mind you. As, as, as he's saying that, a nigga walks in the room and says, uh, I'm the guardian of these kids. I never saw these niggas ever in my life. I'm uh, This nigga ever in my life. I'm like, who the fuck is this? I'm the guardian. Oh, yeah, you the guardian? Mind you, as soon as the guardian walked up, the nigga, the nigga basically dropped his guard. So you fucking still him. I'm looking at this nigga like, huh? I'm just quiet. I'm not saying nothing. He's like, you fucking still him. All this. Bro, the nigga getting hype. All this. Ah, da, da. All this. Mind you, I don't know this nigga. I'm like, who the fuck you talking to? I'm going at this nigga all that. I'm like, I don't even know you. All this. All this. My man's calm. I'm like, why you calm, bro? I'm like, you know this nigga? He like, I don't know this nigga. I, he started going at him too. All this, I pick up my phone. I call. I call the guardian. All this. She, he's there to save you. Shut the fuck up. I'm on the phone with him. <laughs> bro, my guardian paid this nigga to walk in and say he the guardian. How fucking dumb do you gotta be to walk in to two thieving children and say you the guardian of them? He sit down, he, they just keep stealing, I don't know what to do, all uh, this, blah, 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 he, yo, well, you need to fill out these papers, he get a guy, you need to fill out these papers, and we need the merchandise, all uh, this, he hit me with this, come here. Come grab the fucking merchandise. Where they put it at? You know. And he said, you stay here. So they let it up. They Yeah, we're going to have to keep him. You're not taking both of them. Soon as the door opened up, though, my man's run. So now they, hey, what you doing? So you got to stay now. I run too. They grabbed the nigga. He, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh. I'm running too. 
We both out. They hold him. Mind you, we don't know that. <laughs> Mind you, uh, my guardian was nowhere near the entrance. I already knew her location. She, if you come out the entrance, it's straight highway. You got to run on the highway a little bit. We running on the highway on the opposite side. I'm running on the highway, nigga. <laughs> Mind you, they pulled that nigga in the room. They pulled that nigga in the room. He like, wait, wait, wait. He holding the doors and shit. They pulling him in. No. <laughs> he about to go down for like $600 worth of clothes. We run to the car. We pull up. Skrr. Oh, listen. Y'all. We get a letter. Them niggas. I'm like, yo, how they find our address? Apparently, they had license plate number. Bro, they got the license plate number. We didn't have to shut her down. We got a court date. The court date. They like, yeah, you got to come in. You still in all this. The house we staying at. This the perfect time for the guardian I was with to be a shitty parent. The name wasn't under her lease. It was under her mom lease. Her mom passed away. Nigga. We, f bro, we said fuck that house. We stopped paying the bill, all that. That was her mom house. Her mom passed. We said, fuck that house. We sacrificed the house. We moved to another house. We never stole from Coles again. Ever. Ever, bro. Ever. They pulled him in, bro. Oh, my gosh. It's not even like this one whole story because we was just like stealing for years. Another time we almost got caught, what happened? Another time we almost got caught is when they wasn't trying to buy my story. When, when um when they wasn't when they wasn't trying to buy my story, like hey, I'm taking this to my mom. Apple caught us one time over some beats. Y'all saw I always had beats as a young boy. Them girls was stolen. Sacrificed the house for the greater good, nigga. They was trying to get us, bro. We never stole from Coles again, bro. <laughs> nigga kept stealing. No, I had to keep stealing, bro. What? Just don't steal from clothes. You feel me? I never bored up here in my life. Nigga. We stealing from we stealing from Apple, right? Boom. I'm like, uh, mind you, this where this where is a flaw in the little I'm taking this to my mom. You gotta realize I'm heading straight to the car after I steal these beats. So, if I say I'm still there from my mom after they catch me walking right out the door, it's like, hey, where is she? And I say she in another, another store. The Apple worker was dressed in regular clothes, nigga. He's following me all throughout the store. The nigga follows me to the car. I throw it in the back seat, close the back seat, lock the door. Uh uh. I'm like, yeah, I'm the man. I'm walking back in to hit my next door. Everything back to the base. The nigga see my car, he follow me to my mom. The nigga saw the base. He saw I had the keys. I peeped the nigga. He following us all through the th all throughout the mall. The nigga taking pictures and all that. He taking pictures, but it's cool though, cause I'm 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 on the type of time like yo, somebody's following us. So I tell I tell her she he not following us. I said bet. Walk into this candle store. We don't need candles, bro. We walk into the candle store. Now he in the candle store doing this, mind you. Fakest shopper I ever saw. He, he doing this, look. Are you done reading the box yet? We stayed in here for two minutes. Nigga. Stop fake reading that box before we beat the shit out you. Niggas don't read candles. Stop lying. So I'm like, she like, whoa. I'm like, he followed me to the car. I know. I saw him. I saw him. I thought he was a regular person. I saw him follow me to the car. So, and mind you, and it's just me and my guardian this time. We used to go out on two mans with it. Mind you, following us and shit. So, 
if you if you see a sign that say exit in a mall, it's a long tunnel and it might take you to the trash cans. But at the end of the day, it's an exit. He know where the car at. We know where the car at. So we just gotta make sure he follow us. We go into the, the random small exit and we go out the end. As we got the end, we looking through the little glass peephole to see if he gonna come in. Cause look, if he come in, that means run to the car. Because that means he's not at the car. But if we don't see him come in, that means go back in so we can cook him. We, we looking, he don't come down that hall for like two minutes. We go in. The nigga not there. We like, yo, he probably at the car. We need to get to the car. He's smart. Yo. We walk in. We walk to the worst of the car. He camping the car, nigga. We like, yo, what the fuck? And my mom walk up to the car. What you doing by my car? He's security on their way. I'm staying right here. You're not doing nothing. White bull. Redneck. He got he got the glasses on and all that. Skinny nigga. He, y'all not going nowhere. He's staking it out. All that. Boom, boom, boom. Nigga. I came from his blind side, grabbed the grab the grab the niggas, grab the niggas legs, knock him down. Nigga, my mom cracked him, nigga. Cracked him. Wow, oh, she get in the car, lock the door. She got the smart car that only unlock her side. Because she do little nut shit like when we playing around, I act like I'm getting the car, she pull off, I chase the car, like we do that with our homies, nigga. We whooped his ass. Two two V one deem. Fucked him up. I grab him, knock him down. She, what you doing at first? Next thing you know, she cracked him. Boom, cracked him. Like, bro, it's been times like we almost got, nigga, phones on displays at the store. I knew how to fix phones, iPhones. So it was on a type of time like, yo, mom, this is the same screwdriver I used to fix the iPhone screen. She, where your screwdriver at? Next time, bring it. We go to the mall next time. You take phones off the displays. We try to sell them. They used to track them Jones, bro. It was it was so much shit, bro. Oh, my God. There was so many ways we could have got caught, bro. We was just stealing. The phones on display, bro. Even if that's before they had the year, year, year. They used to just had a, the, the grip joint on it that hold it. But, no, that that, that, that that was supposed to be a mini joint, bro. That was supposed to be a mini joint. We, I'm, I'm gonna still tell you the def, the Jeff, the uh, Mr. Jesse John. That was a mini John. That was just like that for real, for real, bro. That was that. Now, grip John wasn't cutting it. I was just unscrewing it for real, for real. <laughs>